He aspired to become a race car driver. When he retired, he turned to making racing apparel. Lance Allen introducing us to how this now thriving operation all started in the basement and is now housed on a prime piece of South Milwaukee real estate. In this building in South Milwaukee, racing merchandise like for Birchwood's Aaron Tielitz is born. It's styled aesthetic. At the start, it was just knowing the industry, right? And then as we've grown and as we've developed, it's, it started recognizing new things. Our bread and butter is a male t-shirt. However, more and more people are bringing their families to events. So we know that, I mean, and I'm a woman, I want to wear a t-shirt too. So I want to make sure that I get the right women's products out there. And with races on weekends, the born on date matters. Literally the date on the shirt is Friday and those need to be in Nashville tomorrow. How do you deal with all that stuff? Uh, I have no choice. <laughs> <laughs> is it going to make it by Friday? If not, okay, then I got to scrap it. So the yeah, the stuff that this that is this weekend, it's very event specific. It used to be fans, mostly males, wore stuff and merch to the track. Now it's females and kids all week, and it's why they've expanded to a new facility in South Milwaukee. There are literally shirts over there behind your shoulder that are going to be on a truck and headed for sale tomorrow. So yeah. how, what, what's the challenge behind trying to do all this? With us right now, it's just capacity. Like we, we have so much um, business and so much demand that we, we're just trying to keep up. So part of the new building and the expansion here is to get new equipment to help to help uh, bridge that gap. And if I don't have something, that's a, a great idea for next year. Like someone wants something specific. I'm like, oh, well, I don't have that now, but let me look into that. That'd be great. Or it's a lot of stuff that I want to wear. And what do they consider success? When I walk to wherever I need to go and I am out and about with the fans and I will count the number of people wearing shirts that are either current or even from like the first years we started. In 2018, North American fans purchased nearly $15 billion in sports merchandise. Since that survey was taken four years ago, it's still growing. Lance Allen, TMJ4 Sports.